they must win to secure a playoffs to, to, to get on the bubble. They must win to get on the bubble. So that's what Division I rookies looks like. We take a look at the juniors. Number one team in Division II juniors right now, their regular season complete at eight wins and no losses is the West Texas Longhorns. But again, make sure you listen Sunday night because things could change. Things could change. And I know if you're looking at the same thing I'm looking at, the PCI number here, which has to do with all the, the strength of schedule and everything put together, that algorithm, West Texas Longhorns PCI is at 16, 1606.035. 1606.035. PSJ Wildcats are at 1600. Right there on the heels of West Texas. So West, if PSJ Wildcats win their final game of the regular season, depending on how that win is, depending on how things shape up you know, in that computer algorithm system that moves things around, that could change in the number one position. Find out uh, Sunday, November 12th, live here on Typer Radio. All right, so teams still looking to get in at 4-2, and two, Southside Colts, Bell County Patriots, Fresno Gators. All of four and two. They have two wins to get one to secure a playoff spot. Two chances to secure a playoff spot. Southeast Junior Hornets, Colleen Showtime Elite, True Blue, Hidalgo Buccaneers, Texas Spartans are all at four and three. They must win their final regular season game to secure a playoff spot. They'll get that fifth win. If they lose, they will be a bubble team at four and four. And I guess it's worth saying if they tie, they will get into the playoffs at four, three, and one because it'll be better than 500. So these teams at four and three that I'm talking about, um, even the ones at four and two, um, if they if they're in a position where if they can at least tie a football game, they could put themselves in the playoffs. So that's a little, little interesting mix in there. At three and three of the Galveston County Seahawks, they must win both of their games to get that fifth win and secure a playoff spot. They go one and one, they're on the bubble. Lubbock Red Raiders are done. They're four and four, they're on the bubble. Uh, ATX Wildcats are also three and three. Texas Storm, Rio Hondo Bobcats, Brush Country Rattlers, Ed Couch Elsa Little Jackets, Next Gen Matadors, El Paso Bombers, New Braunfels Junior Cougars, or correction, I'm sorry, El Paso Bombers are all three and four. Must win their final game to be a bubble team. New Braunfels Junior Cougars, the East Houston Longhorns are at two and four. They must win both of their remaining games to be a bubble team at four and four. They must win their final two games to at least be a bubble bubble consideration team. Division one juniors. Number one team right now at 8-0 is the North Houston Panthers. Again, things can change. Things can change. We'll see how that all shakes out once we get to Sunday evening. We'll have all that information on that seating. But currently, the number one team is the Northeastern Panthers in Division I Juniors. At 4-3, and three, Capital Area Junior Wranglers and the Junior Barons. 
must win their final game to secure a playoff spot. A tie would do it also, but a loss will put them on the bubble. The Cypress Tigers, who were done with their regular season, are at 4-3-1. It's not marked on the website yet, but they should be in the playoffs as they will get that percentage uh, marker with the orange percentage marker as a wild card. So the Cypress Tigers are in at 4-3-1. and one. At 3-4, and four, the Westaco Thunder, Tri-County Titans, Floresville Wildcats, Cypher Ravens. All at 3-4. and four. Must win their final game of the regular season to, to uh, be a bubble team. Anybody else in Division I juniors is out of contention. So that's what the junior level is looking like. When we take a look at seniors, the number one team in seniors, heard a lot about them, heard a lot of great things about them, and they've been up top, and that is the Texas Renegades. They're 8 0. Number two team is the Unity which is another team I've been hearing a lot about their play. But they've got one game remaining. Will things shift come Sunday night? Find out live here on Typhoon Radio, as we'll let you know once those seedings are, are put together. The Central Houston Titans are at 4-2. and two. They've got two games to play. They need one to get that fifth win and secure a playoff spot. JYSF Venom, the Bridge Seahawks, are at four and three. They must win that final game to secure a playoff spot. If they lose, they're a bubble team. Colleen Code Chiefs, Cypress Tigers, Tri-County Titans, Southeast Texas Oilers, all at three and four. At three and four, must win in order to get on the bubble. So that's how those standings are looking at right now. Those are your standings. Those are the teams that need to find a way to win to get in. Brahma's forfeited already for the U. That's what somebody's telling me right now. That Brahma's already forfeited. That would be sad. That would be sad. Hub City Bison forfeited this past weekend in their flag and their junior. But they're proud of that Tykes team. They defeated the Odessa Junior Broncos 42-6. Odessa Junior Broncos in the rookies defeated the Bison 25-14. How do you play two games and not the other two? I, I I just don't get that. I, I don't get all these forfeits. What, what what is up with all these forfeits? Somebody please explain that to me. Twenty four forfeits uh, the weekend before last. Twenty four forfeits the weekend before last. How do you do that? What's that teaching the kids?
What does that teach anybody? Some situations I can understand, but there are some others that I, I, I just can't. I, I, just, I just don't get it. I don't get it. And that may be the case. Uh, Cindy Bice says maybe a lot of injuries, safety is a factor. And I get that, particularly at the senior level. I, I get it. But when entire organizations from flag to junior, and maybe including seniors, I don't know, forfeit an entire weekend, I don't get that. I don't understand that at all. I don't get that at all. If you're going to forfeit games, then 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 why why be an organization? Some have decent reasons. I I get it. I understand. Maybe I'm being too hard, but I I, I just don't understand forfeits. I don't like forfeits. I think you should show up. You should try to play. So that's the standings. That's how things look. I heard there was supposed to be a bunch of games that went on. Um, the weekend of the cheer competition, I don't see any scores up, so I don't think anything really happened unless they haven't reported them yet. Who knows? Bottom line is, this is the last week of the regular season. It's the last week of the regular season. Teams fighting to get into the playoffs. It's an exciting week. This is it. Keep it here. We're going to step away real quick when we come back. Predictions on the Junior Mustangs taking on the Texas All-Stars and the San Antonio Predators taking on the Judson Junior Rockets. Coming up here on The Zone. Keep it here. In an effort to recognize scholastic excellence, TIFA created the Scholastics Awards Program. The TIFA Scholastic Excellence Award was established to recognize and award excellence in the classroom. The winner of this award will receive $500, a certificate of accomplishment, and a congratulatory letter from TIFA. In addition, the winner's name will be placed on the TIFA website in the Hall of Fame. To qualify, a child must be ages 10 to 13 for football players or 10 to 15 for cheerleaders as of August 1st of the current year. They must have a 100% or better GPA, be participating in the junior or senior levels, and meet all other requirements set forth in the rules. If one or more of your players or cheerleaders qualify, send their information with supporting info to helpdesk at typha.com. That's helpdesk at typha.com the Typha Scholastic Excellence Award, awarding excellence in the classroom. Monarch Trophy Studio in San Antonio, a leader in the awards and recognition industry since 1972. Their mission is to provide their customers with a wide variety of high quality, competitively priced awards. They have awards for sports, scholastics, employment, you name it, they've got it. Trophies, plaques, badges, pins, and much, much more. With the advancements in technology and the internet, Monarch Trophy Studio has quickly become one of the leading premier online award retailers. Monarch Trophy Studio is a proud sponsor of the Texas Youth Football and Cheer Association and proud provider of all TIFA awards, including the Dale Morgan Trophy. Visit Monarch Trophy Studio in their 30,000 square foot state-of-the-art production facility located at Highway 281 in Thousand Oaks in San Antonio, Texas. Contact them toll-free at 1-800-364-7903 or by email at sales at mtsawards.com. Check them out on their interactive website at www.mtsawards.com. That's mtsawards.com. Monarch Trophy Studio in San Antonio. Come get your trophy at...